Okay, so this time we're going to have a look at the GemX exporter and how to hook it up so that we can get into the uh, the GemX endpoint of uh, ThingWorks in the JVM that's running in to collect metrics about specifically the C3PO uh, database library as well as uh, other MDNs attributes and specifically some things about Tomcat. So let's have a look. You know, kind of first of all, a bit of a reminder from the overview video. Um, you know, this this particular dashboard is built using the um, data from the GemX uh, exporter. So GemX exporter has some some default uh, values. We don't even need to configure; they just come in once we get it once we get it connected. And uh, we're looking at them here: the the basics uh, CPU processor memory, garbage collection, I think um, maybe I've added those. The details about the thread states, this is really nice about the um, the connector that, that's bringing those in for us. Uh, I've tried to keep this dashboard relatively simple with the key metrics and um, you know if we come back over to uh, come back over to the the Tomcat one too uh, because this is getting the details from the same place too and Tomcat Right here, if we have a look at the Tomcat, uh, we saw this yesterday as well. I have everything about Tomcat. It took this is it took me a while to get this kind of all working. I had to do the specific mappings in Tomcat, and I did that using uh, Visual VM and JConsole, essentially going and poking around inside the uh, JMX endpoint to find the MBeans attributes that I wanted. And uh, and set those up so that we could convert the MBeans attributes into into um, uh, Prometheus metrics to be scraped. So let's have a look at at that. Uh, that's pretty much the core of why I set up the uh, Gemx exporter, so that we could get access to these details about Tomcat as well as the details about the DB connection pool uh, and how ThingWorks is handling the DB connection pool. So, um, you know, maybe first of all, if we look at the configuration files, standard, uh, the first thing is there's this Java agent, and the Java agent is is how this is run, right? So we don't actually have to have any JMX or RMI ports open. Uh, I've done that because of the fact that I also connect my J console and Visual VM uh, through those SSH tunneled ports into the the that remote management port. But what's nice about this agent is you do not need to. You just need to provide this in the path as a Java agent in ThingWorks. So I guess we're on the wrong system here. Um, if we connect up to ThingWorks. We have a look at the Tomcat service, how we're starting the Tomcat service here. You can see in the environment, I'm passing in uh, some parameters about the JMX remote. This is what I mentioned is um, not required. But down a little bit further, somewhere here, you can see I've got two Java agent paths. One is the Applications Insight, uh, Azure Applications Insight, and the other is my JMX exporter. So I've put this in uh, OPT JMX exporter. And this is the Java agent. I'm telling it what port I wanted to listen on for a scrape, for scrapes from Prometheus, as well as passing it the configuration file. And you can see that I've got a dash TWX at the end here because this is the one that's running in the JVM for ThingWorks. And there's a there's another one for the connection server. And that's really because the MBeans attributes that I'm going to grab from both are going to be different. So let's have a look at one of those files. Um, I guess first of all, before we look at the configuration, I don't even think we need this. 
as I mentioned, this is coming in on the uh, as Java agent, so I'm not really sure what that service configuration file is supposed to do. I think that was a blind copy on my part from another um, exporter. Um, but if we just kind of have a look at this configuration file, what it's empty. Come on. All right, so this one is not empty, and here you can see the, some basic configurations at the beginning, some whitelist um, attributes uh, up here for the mBeans, and then the rules. So the specific rules, I've kind of tried to break them into a couple of different categories. You can see here this is Tomcat uh, specific. And, um, you know, we're getting the, the details about the global request processor. This is about uh, Catalina, the thread pools, the manager. And basically as we, we move down, these are so these are done with regular expressions as you can see. And this is just parsing the mBeans attributes and looking for specific attributes uh, as I mentioned that I found and I just added them to the list of things that I wanted to ensure that we we pulled in. I didn't really want to get everything um, because pulling too many metrics does also have a performance impact, right? So do keep that in mind as it takes a lot of time to maybe come up with these specific patterns, but the advantage of doing so is you're going to be reducing the overall performance impact of collecting and presenting metrics and scraping the um, ambience attributes all the time. Uh, also, you can set some some details here like the type as well as descriptions for the various metrics and then here are the c3po metrics um you can see here i'm i'm specifying look where they come from uh com and change v2 c3po and then i'm saying the ones that i want here so as i mentioned i don't want all of them i don't know if there's 30 or more but here i'm saying specifically that i want to take these ones max pool size busy connections failed connections Etc. And I'm just giving it a label. So here, these ones are going to start with C3PO underscore and then the metric name. So that's why they're going to show up a little bit differently. And the labels is applying C3PO. So we will have the GemX um, tag on this because if you recall, we saw that in the Prometheus um, scraper that, uh, that that scrape job was applying the GemX label. So here we'll have. Um, we can apply tags at this particular level here inside the configuration um, for the exporter, or we can also apply them on the Prometheus side. Okay, so, I mean, that's the configuration. And um, if we have a look where it's running, right, on, on 9111 here, we should be able to just curl it. Get some response, and you can see that uh, we've got all these metrics as um, as they're defined in that configuration file. So that's the JMX part of this. Next up is Graphite. 